As the last topic of the introductory part, uh, I will also briefly discuss with you uh, some issues related to the econometric software. So obviously, uh, to do econometrics uh, and even these uh, exercises during the course, uh, uh, you don't do them by, by paper and pen, but you need to have some kind of uh, software tools to, to be able to do the, do the regression analysis. Uh, so very much uh, it is, uh, it is um, very much of the large proportion of econometrics and the content of this course is uh, geared towards regression analysis. And uh, to some extent, of course, the choice of the software can be also also limiting factor that whatever um, models are available for your for your software can also then then um, uh, restrict the possibilities what you can actually do with the data. So, because in this course the the audience is very very heterogeneous, so there is like a mixed background. Uh, uh, some of you are bachelor students, some of you are master students, some of you have a, a previous programming experience, some of you don't. Uh, so I do not want to have some, some one size fits all uh, solution to, in terms of the econometric software, but rather uh, I would give you a free hand to use whatever software you feel most comfortable with. So the purpose of this, uh, this video lecture is then to discuss with you some uh, some uh, pros and cons of different uh, different uh, software that are available, and um, and uh, most uh, typical choices, uh, practical choices for this course would be would be Microsoft Excel. Uh, you could have Stata. Uh, then then if you want to do some uh, writing your old code, uh, then then R or Python would be options. But then, of course, there exist other other software like SPSS or SAS or or Maple on and so on and so on. Limdep. Uh, there there is a, a lots of lots of uh, potential software that you could you could utilize for this. And uh, and uh, our policy is to let you let you use whatever software you are most comfortable with. And uh, I should also say that uh, then then our 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 aim is to then provide you support with the uh, with uh, so I would say that my teaching assistant Sheng Dai is very competent in any any software that you might uh, might use uh, and uh, our plan currently is to is to provide support for 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 Stata and R and uh, we assume that uh, you have basic uh, knowledge of using the Excel which would be the most uh, most simplest of all and um, before I go to the presentation of this uh, each each software in a little bit more detail, I should also say that uh, it's of course possible that you you use a um, combination of these these softwares that you will not necessarily have to be locked into one one of them. So you might uh, might very well uh, handle the first topics with uh, with Excel and then switch to to Stata or R or Python later on during the course. However, if you if you have for example uh, uh, ambition to to learn utilize this course also for learning learning R more 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 thoroughly. Then uh, it may be a good idea to start already from the beginning then to 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 use R so so that then the step of moving from from uh, from let's say Excel to R is not too big. That uh, that uh, if you want to utilize the opportunity to to practice your your coding skills uh, with R or Python. Then please feel free to do so. So that's that's perfectly perfectly fine. Uh, if you are not so so uh, familiar with uh, writing your codes, then then it's also fine to use some uh, Excel or Stata. So, um, firstly, what can we do with with Excel? So this is, for example, uh, used in the in the our introductory course Taulukko laskenta ja analytiikka, and uh, uh, it's very simple. Then, then, uh, then there is also if you if you install in in Excel, there is this uh, uh, analysis tool pack which can run your linear regression, and uh, it's perfectly fine to run linear regression model with this uh, analysis tool pack of Excel, and uh, this will be this will be very sufficient for most topics of this course, but not not exactly all of them. So. Uh, uh, if you are if you are 
if you prefer to use Excel, then there's not a, not a, not a problem, but, uh, but uh, not all of the empirical exercises you, you manage to do with that. And I have here provided also a link. Uh, if, you, if you don't know how to do, do regression in Excel, uh, you can find this link, or there's also many, many, many other uh, online resources of how to, how to run linear regression in Excel. So also please, please do utilize your, your information searching skills and, and find additional information in the internet if you don't find exactly in the, in the course materials. Um, personally, I, I, I actually very much like, uh, like to use Excel whenever possible because uh, uh, I like to see the data that I'm using. So in, in, the nice thing in Excel is that, uh, that you are really like working hands on with the data. So you can, you can literally see the, see these uh, variables. Uh, you can see immediately, are there some kind of uh, uh, problems of coding with the variables? And, uh, and you get like this kind of hands on feeling working with the data in Excel, which is not always the case if you, if you, if you uh, writing some, some R code or, or Python code. Um, of course, Excel is not very practical if you have a quite large sample size. So if you have thousands of observations, then, then this uh, uh, regression tool of Excel becomes very sluggish and slow and, and, and hard to use. So if, you have a, if you're working with the larger sample sizes in your, in your working life, then Excel is not necessarily the most practical solution. So for many, many uh, professional applied econometricians, the Stata is the, is the good compromise between, uh, between uh, let's say, basic tool like Excel versus more, more sophisticated tools. Uh, so if you want to study, study Stata, there's also a lot of uh, learning tools and YouTube videos and so on. I have here indicated some. And here is an illustration of the of the screenshot of of, uh, of Stata. So I believe that uh, that currently our our university has campus wise license also for Stata. So if you want to want to, uh, it also prob in my understanding you can also install Stata on your on your computer and uh, and uh, and use it. So uh, a convenient future of Stata is that uh, that there is a very extensive model library for econometrics and statistics. So, so uh, you would find all of the models that we consider in the in this course, uh, in this in this uh, sort of pull down menu. So, if you know what you are doing, you can just uh, just upload the data and choose the model that you want to want to run, and and Stata does everything automatically and produces all the all the necessary statistics and uh, and. Uh, all the all the necessary information automatically. Uh, this uh, slide also illustrates that uh, that uh, if if even if you use this kind of pull down menu to choose the model that you want to run, uh, Stata also is writing this uh, this code. So if if you know the uh, if you know this commands uh, Stata commands, then you can also work with the coding. So so you can either either write Stata code or you can you can use the pull down menu to just simply. Click uh, with the mouse and choose the choose the model that you want to run. So in that sense, uh, uh, Stata can be both very user friendly, but also also then, for example, if you if you if you want uh, uh, somebody to reproduce your model, then then you can you can get the code and and some, send it to to your colleagues or 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 whatever. So it also like gives this kind of uh, uh, interface to to coding and actually Stata can also work. Uh, work together with Python, so you can also run a Python code through, through Stata. So uh, nowadays, then, then uh, there is also a lot of uh, interest in uh, uh, writing your own code. So, so a nice thing about R, which is very widely used by, by uh, more theoretical econometricians and statisticians, is that, uh, that it enables you to, to write your own codes. Uh, there's also very extensive model library in R, but uh, but compared to compared to Stata, this uh, this would require even even applying some kind of readily written codes. Uh, it 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 requires uh, writing your own code. So if you are more this kind of uh, um, if you want to work uh, as a professional in in business analytics uh, and you want to use this course to exercise uh, your R R coding skills, then then it can be a good idea to 
use our exercises to to because which are starting starting quite simply and then also learning learning to use the R software. So indeed, in nowadays R is very very often used in uh, econometrics courses like this. However, I, I still mentioned that the the the, num the group of students in this course is very heterogeneous, and uh, I'm afraid that if we would force everybody to use R, then then a significant proportion of our our student population would drop out. So this is why we want to just keep this uh, choice to you. So if you want to want to practice R, then then this is this is a good opportunity. There is also a lot of uh, teaching uh, so resources for R. So here is a link to this uh, uh, Econometrics with R website, which is also also a kind of online textbook for, for using R in, in econometrics. So anything that you want to use in this course that uh, you can do with R, but it requires some 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 coding and uh, and uh, if you are completely novice in, in, in writing codes, then 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 it may be easier to start with uh, with Excel or Stata. Uh, finally, I want to mention that uh, that uh, Python is nowadays uh, very popular and increasingly popular, and especially in in uh, business analytics. Uh, so we have this uh, specialization in business analytics uh, and our school, and uh, and uh, most of our students uh, prefer to use Python, for example, in the in the in their master's thesis. So if you want to do Python, uh, it's also possible to, to, to use that. Uh, however, I think uh, Python uh, would require even, even more coding than, than R. So for example, for R, there is, uh, there is more, more this kind of ready, ready packages available that you can just upload and then, then, then use than in Python. Python would involve even more coding because you need to code everything from the almost everything from the from the scratch but it's possible to, to use and there is also also um, uh, resources for that so here is one one link to to uh, to uh, if you want to if you want to use python then it's maybe a good idea to to uh, buy a, a book or 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 buy access to an online book that uh, that helps to 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 cover that so i believe that for for most of you python is probably too too demanding and uh, so it really depends on your your uh, programming skills. If you are very very skilled in, in in programming, you why not why not learn Python or perhaps R. Uh, if you if you don't like if you don't like uh, writing codes, but you want to more more focus on the on the on the modeling part and theory, then then maybe Stata or, or Excel can be can be uh, the the best choices. So, it, it, it this stage is maybe good also a little bit to, for you to, to familiarize with these alternatives and uh, and uh, of course feel free to change your change your choices later on during the course if you if you feel like. Uh, but those those are the basic uh, basic alternatives that uh, that uh, are available. So, as the next theme, we go then to the to the linear regression. And uh, econometrics uh, as, a, as a whole is very, very heavily geared towards linear regression. And uh, I will start with the classical uh, ordinary least squares estimator and its properties. So we will go a, a little bit more, more theoretical uh, in, this, uh, in this theme number two. Thanks. Bye-bye.